Hey everybody. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to start um just you know the vlogging lifestyle. Um, cause why not? It's the perfect time to do it. Um, I got we're on a selfie stick at the moment. So me and the four kiddos are just hanging out this morning. Today is Tuesday, the 17th. Um, it is technically our second day at home. <laughs> um, and we're just kind of hanging out right now. Um, Kelrick was able to do a little bit of, um, his teacher sent his login information um, for classes. So he was able to log in and do some some schoolwork for about 45 minutes. Um, we're still waiting on some for this kid. Um, but today we're just gonna we're kind of hanging out and we're just home, do some chores, do cleaning up stuff. Um, I do have we're gonna do a cool uh, um, yeah. we're gonna do, what is it? What are we gonna do? Oh, cool drawing company. So, um, when we get that started, um, we'll let us know who you think wins when we get that going, and then we'll go from there. Um, so, here's what we're doing today. Okay, so, we started on some chores. Center is doing some dishes. Um, Kelrick is taking out the trash. Most days. <sighs> Anyways, so we're making lunch. It's full of 11:17 at this point. Kale's gonna help me. Just got done washing his hands. And then, <coughs> sorry, he wants to be referred to as Magic Trainer. Right? Yeah. So we're going to make some lunch meat sandwiches and um, start getting the babies ready. Ready. So we didn't go out and stock up as crazy as everybody, as crazy as others might have. Start putting mayonnaise over there, please. Um, but we did stock up on our basic essentials um like that we normally do we kind of we kind of just did a um a double grocery shopping trip essentially to what we normally would do um for our family of six Well, apparently he's just now decided that he's going to do a speechless challenge for the whole day. Let's see if we can prop this up a little bit. There you go. Um, that just happened because he hasn't been speechless until now. <laughs> um, anyways, so we, we went out and we got some of, um, you know, we got some bread. Um, we didn't get a whole bunch of by the time we decided to go ahead and, and get a few things, um, it wasn't until after we were told the kids would be staying home on um, the Friday, the 13th, Friday the 13th is when we found out the kids would be staying home with everybody, um, for here in Washington, um, schools have been closed for six weeks. Um, so they are out until April 27th. Um, 
So they will, that's about six weeks. That is six weeks. Six total weeks. Um, they'll be out. Obviously one of those weeks is already spring break. So five additional weeks on top of that. Um, we're taking it in stride though. Um, we are going to, I'm not very good at the whole getting kids on, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not very good at the whole homeschooling portion of things. Um, luckily, um, uh, our teachers in our school district have been sending out um, blog and information for the things that they do at school already. So for those applications, we're doing, um, we got those this morning. So he did about 30 to 40 minutes of that this morning. Can you just make your sandwich? Um, so we're doing that. Um, and then we have, yes, you can make yours after Calrex finished taking his own. He's taking a, a long time. Uh, he's being goofy about it. Calrex, you're spreading things all over the counter. Okay. And then, um, so that's basically kind of where we're at right now. Today is um, our day two and we're just chugging along. Um, I'm sure as the weeks go on, things are going to get a little bit more interesting. We do have a nicer backyard, so we'll be able to go outside and play um, and not remain completely cooped up. Um, and my husband is not called out of work yet, uh, so he's still attending. Yes. You want pickles on your sandwich? Yes, we can put some pickles on your sandwich. Um, so... We've still, got, thankfully, we still have that going for us, um, and that's basically it. We're gonna just take it slow, one day at a time, a week at a time, from for here on out. We did have a vacation planned um, for spring break, but we aren't sure if we're going to be doing that. It's down. In, we're going down to Oregon. Oregon is currently one of the least affected. Um, so that's that's kind of good, but at the moment, oh, we've had restaurants and places closed down. There's things over, no no gas, no gatherings of people over ten at the moment. So we'll just kind of see how that goes. Anyways, so babies are getting turkey breast, lunch meat, and cheese. Um, the boys are getting lunch meat sandwiches, and we'll have some chips, and is that it? Mm, we know. Ah, ah. We're eating. Hi. Hi. Eating our, our food. <laughs> I love ham. Here we go. It's nap time for the princess. Little man's going down for a nap soon too. Who said night night? Can you say night night? <laughs> okay, so we have um, got the babies to bed. We've all done our had lunch, um, and now the boys and I have decided we're going to sit down and we're going to do a little drawing challenge. Um, so these are just little doodles. Um, with step-by-step -step things that I found on Facebook. Somebody shared them yesterday. Um, and I thought it would be super fun with the kids. Um, so we pulled out some crayons. Um, we got paper. Boys have a giant thing of crayons that we'll use. Um, and then we have each picked out the um, drawing we want to do. Gunner is going to do the ladybug. Sorry. Um, I'm doing a dinosaur, the T-Rex. And um, Kilrick decided he wanted to do a cute little, um, a uh, little chicken, um, the baby chick. <laughs> That's what those are called. Um, so we're going to get set up for that. And the challenge is to draw the picture and then draw a picture around it. Um, and it's just for fun, guys. So here we go.
Okay, so um, we're finished with our drawings. Um, my phone is currently plugged in, so we're kind of an odd angle. But here is his first. Um, this is, and this is mom. Oh, this is <laughs> this is my professional T Rex with the um, meteors flying in. <laughs> okay, next. Here is Gunner's lovely ladybug on its leaf. Heck yeah. All right. This is leaf right here. Yeah. All right. Kill wants, is he going to show his? And his baby chick all in front of a farmhouse. And there are those pigs. There's little pigs over there. <laughs> in a huge tornado. Oh, that's pretty good. Good job. There's our final pictures. So, um,. I think we're gonna go head out outside. Um, get some fresh air. Forrest has decided that he didn't want to take a nap with his sister. So he's currently up playing with his tablet at the moment. <laughs> but um get him out too. And just burn off some some energy. Seriously, they need some energy burnt off. Not me. So what uh, I've had to have let my phone charge a little bit. We've been outside for about an hour now. Just hanging out, um, forest. <laughs> the faces you make when uh, you watch your older boys play outside. Um, forest refused his nap, but that's okay. You know, it's a really, really gorgeous day out. Excuse my mess in the background. Um, those were for projects that we have not gotten to. Um, I mean, most people know that. Go see. <laughs> I bet you guys understand. Um, so, actually, this right here, this big thing, is a, um, a cabinet countertop thing from downstairs in our basement. Um, we are getting into um, the process of pulling things out down there to remodel it. Um, so, um, I can show you really quick. So this is, I was going to refinish it, um, they've already started sanding some, um, the person before us, um, had stored, like, paint and stuff, so that's what all that is, um, so I started sanding it down, um, with the intent that we were probably going to, like, uh, repaint it and then put it actually in our kitchen, um, Honestly, I think that's where it came from originally. Um, our house was built in 55, so um, there's been a lot of different changes to it. So we're prog progressively working on making it better. Um, but you know how that goes. Kids are outside. There's Kelrick. I know all our toys are. Forest is around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's he's playing. Right there. Um, yeah. So we're actually probably going to spend a lot of the rest of the afternoon out here. I'm not really big on going out and playing. I'm really bad about that. But I do want to sit in the sunshine. So um, I pulled out this book. Uh, it's called The Barefoot Executive by Carrie Wilkerson. Um, I bought this book three years ago ish I don't know and I started it and then I never really got into it and, and watching or not watching but never really got into reading it um just because I wasn't in a point where I really wanted to push myself um into like what I'm doing with my business and and life and stuff um as some of you guys if you haven't watched any of my previous videos um on YouTube I got some crazy hairs going on right here um I um, am a direct sales consultant, um, and so I was in a in a position um, where I just I wasn't passionate about the other the other direct sales companies that I was with. Um, so now I am with, um, Lime Life by Alcone and 
Um, I decided I wanted to pull this book out just to see if I could help, you know, myself grow um, in business in general. Um, but I am a stay-at-home mom um, and I'm always looking for ways to incorporate them, the, the kids, and just continue to build myself up um, as a, a entrepreneur and stuff. So, um, so far it's a really good book. I did just pull it out. Um, the nice thing about this book um, is that you can flip, you don't have to read it cover to cover. Um, it does have sections broken up for you. Um, so you can kind of just go through and kind of pick where you want to read, pick the lessons you want to, you want to kind of work on. Um, you can read something and put it down, come back to it weeks later. Um, and that's kind of just what I'm, I'm wanting with it right now. So anyways, there's that. Um, we're going to spend more time out here today for sure. It is beautiful. I think, um, it is over 50. It's like 55 degrees out right now. Um, so Willow is still sleeping. Once she wakes up, I'll probably go get her and we'll play outside some more. Um, yeah, that's what, uh, our afternoon is looking like you guys, uh, pretty <laughs> uneventful. Um, but we're, we're going to get more and more creative as time goes. So chicken asparagus bake. Um, I don't have my chicken at the second I left that in the freezer. Um, but we have these petite white potatoes. I'll dice these up. Um, and then I'll take this asparagus. I will cut this into, mm, I'll cut the ends off and then cut it into fourths. Um, and then I will throw it all together in a, a Pyrex dish. Um, just to make things go a little bit faster, if I don't boil out the potatoes first, you know, get them kind of al dente, it takes forever in the oven. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go get my chicken and, um, get some of this stuff going and cut up and, uh, that's basically it. And I'll show you guys kind of those steps along the way. All right. So here's what I ended up doing. Um, so I ended up needing to cook up my chicken a little bit, um, obviously cause you don't want raw chicken, um, cause that'll end up taking forever and you won't always know for sure if all of it ends up getting cooked. So, um, I cook up my chicken in a, the frying pan. I got the potatoes al dente. Um, and then of course the asparagus is all cut up, but, um, I throw it all in a bowl get it all mixed up i put in italian seasoning some parsley and then i actually have this little jar of um i i have this little jar um uh, this stuff i usually get um just it adds extra flavor to a lot of different um meals that i can throw together um so the basil pesto um and i throw that in there and then i'll throw some foil in into the over the top of this and then i'll throw it in the oven um, and it'll be ready to go in about 30 minutes. So it is now 6.53. We are just finishing dinner. Um, everybody's all cleaned up from finishing their food. The boys actually really like the asparagus bake. Babies, it's hit or miss. I mean, but they're toddlers. They're going to be like that anyways, regardless. So, um, but that's, that's basically what we've been doing today. 
Um, nothing too exciting, nothing too crazy. Forrest and Willow are hanging out. This guy is not feeling awesome this evening. Um, he did skip his nap, so that could be part of it. Um, but we'll see how tomorrow goes and, um, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Um, oh, Kelrick, what did you want to tell everybody? To like and subscribe and click the bell button. Yeah, make sure you click the bell button, um, on, once you subscribe, you can, um, get notifications every time we get a new video up. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.